Here is another instantly recognizable piece of tissue as skin. You could see skin appendages, you could see epidermis, you could see dermis, you could see a lot of subcutaneous uh, uh, fat and connective tissue and maybe even muscle down here. Who knows, it looks a little bit pinker than collagen though, doesn't it? But let's look at the skin first. In fact, if we do, we may decide we're not gonna look any further because we already suspect that something might be going on with this skin. Do you remember when we saw the vesicles of herpes simplex? We said the reason they are vesicles is because the epidermis was separated from the dermis and therefore uh, water accumulates in this space, perhaps blood and inflammation as well, but certainly in the early stages, fluid. Well, we have another case in which we could see already at this power that the epidermis is separated from the dermis and inside of it is perhaps blood, perhaps water, perhaps uh, inflammatory cells or any combination thereof. There's three of them. This is another herpes lesion or caused by virus in the herpes family, which causes vesicles. This is not herpes simplex, this is herpes zoster. This is the virus that causes chicken pox. These are the vesicles of chicken pox. This is a pock. And the chicken, if you look real closely, is going to be in here somewhere. But you could see what this is. It's a separation of the epidermis from the dermis. Uh, and uh, as a result, you have fluid, maybe fibrin, maybe inflammatory cells inside of these vesicles. Uh, they can become secondarily infected, as you know, when the kids scratch them. You could see some inflammatory cells out here. You could see some perhaps a thickening or degeneration of the uh, epidermis over here. Let's click on to another one real fast. And in this area, we see much of the same thing. We see a stratum corneum, a thickened, degenerated uh, epidermis, a watery, perhaps even cellular separation between this epidermis and this uh, dermis. Um, Ironically, the same virus that causes chicken pox also causes the vesicles of another lesion more common in adults called herpes zoster or shingles. That's why this is called the VZ virus for varicella zoster. They're both the same virus. It's a herpes zoster virus. And this is a classical uh, skin lesion of chicken pox. If you were to ask me, could this also technically be exactly what the vesicles would look like in herpes zoster? I would probably have to say yes offhand because it's caused by the same virus and the vesicles can look the same similarly and the virus does the same type of, uh, has the same type of reaction in each case. So if there's somebody out here that could differentiate this from a vesicle of a herpes zoster or shingles, uh, please stand up and pick up your Nobel Prize. Thank you very much.